We're building our own home here on the side of a mountain in Panama, but recently we've taken on a project that's created quite the headache. We're in the process of building our own road, as you can see Kaylee's working on in this skid steer behind me. And we're at the hardest point of this whole road build. We've been laying down a base layer of stone, gravel, and sand. And we finished the entranceway to the property, built an upper parking lot, and worked our way down in front of our greenhouse in our goat pen, down to this point where we're ready to kind of bang a right and make our way down this hill to where our house is gonna be. But to do that, we need to cross a water line and two electric lines. And one of those electric lines is for our wind turbine. And as you can see for how our wind turbine is looking, it hasn't been all that easy. Our old turbine here was really nothing more than a decoration. We got this turbine for free and it never really worked that well. So we have this new turbine that I've wanted to install and kind of part of the idea was to take parts of this old turbine, especially of the base, and use it to put up our brand new turbine. But that has turned out to be a lot harder than it looks. So we've been smashing on the base of this turbine like cavemen for the last really the last 24 hours, and we gave up. We realized, hey, we're not gonna be able to do this alone. So this morning I went down to a metal fabrication shop just to see if they had any ideas. They had a hydraulic jack and I was stoked and I'm like, this is gonna work, and then it didn't work. So then they decided to just go back to the way that we were doing it, put the thing down on an anvil and smash it with a sledgehammer. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I'm happy to report, we got it, baby. We got it. This stupid thing, we got it out of there. My goodness, that was way harder than it should be. This is the pole for our new turbine, and this is gonna go into the base that we've been working so hard to get ready for this. Oh, it doesn't fit, are you kidding me? I be ready. This is supposed to be an inch and a half. Come on, George, hit it! How come anytime we have to do the crazy stuff, you always just magically show up? I don't know. <laughs> Use a round. Alright, you ready? Go for it! Ah. Is that all that you got? Ah. Ah. Sometimes you just gotta do some crazy shiz to prevent yourselves from having to go back to the hardware store. <laughs> now the idea is we're gonna take this tube and we're gonna slide it right around this one, which is gonna give us a little bit more thickness. It's gonna give us double the thickness and ideally double the strength. Now we're welding the tube to the base so the tube doesn't just fall through. And now what we're gonna do is take this bigger tube and put it over the smaller one, and then we're gonna weld that as well. It's crazy how big these chickens have got just in the last two weeks. And they're starting to make a mess of our workout room. They've been living in there for the last couple weeks, and they're just pooping all over our floor in there. So I think the sooner we can get, out, get them out of there, the better. We're trying to kind of slowly introduce them to the dogs slowly introduce them to the other chickens and the rooster because I've heard that sometimes when you introduce new baby chicks with a rooster around sometimes the rooster can get a little crazy and sometimes hurt the babes. And now we're going to slide this piece on it's going to stop the turbine from falling down and then this is the bearing. got this. I thought this was going to be heavier. There it goes here. Okay. Bien. Gracias. Now we're getting to the fun part because we get to install the turbine, the part that makes the electricity. This has a specific torque spec it needs to get torqued to, which is 30 foot pounds. So I have the torque wrench out here. When this clicks, it will mean we're there. Oh. Oh no. It just broke. What the heck? This thing is broken, I think. I think I just over torqued it. It's solo este, entonces nosotros poner es, es okay. The turbine just broke. No. Which one? Which part of it? Um, the part that matters. Like the spinny? Yeah, the motor. The torque is supposed to click when it's at the right torque. It yeah. didn't click. So I just over tightened it. 
And now you and can't it untie it. it. Blew up. No. The casing did. No. I got glue though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> For some reason, this wind turbine has just been like so not on our side this entire process. <laughs> no, you're not off to a great start when you gotta break out the glue right away. Okay, cuidado, cuidado. Okay. Bien. Necesitamos poner el abanico y después directamente arriba porque es imposible para nosotros poner en la tierra sí. con este. Okay, we have to put this fast and quick because once we put the turbine part on, we just need to go straight up with it. And it's going to be tough. This is going to be over 20 feet in the air on a pole that's already 10 feet up in the air. So this is going to be tricky, but I could definitely got the guys to do it. <sighs> talked it all through. I think we're gonna try the skid steer and if the skid steer doesn't work we're gonna need to get a crane in here because this is just this is just gonna be um, pretty challenging so I uh, sent the guys home. I took the turbine apart put it all here on the ground. It wasn't gonna be safe. I need some time to think about this. I need a couple of days just to think about the best way to do this, whether we make the pole shorter, it's gonna give us less power, or another way to get this 20 foot pole up in the air with a heavy turbine on the end. I'm not sure. The good news is today's the perfect day to just be out in the sun, it's beautiful, do some mindless stuff like build a road, and think about how we're gonna get this turbine done. The bad news is, you see this pile of gravel? I made the mistake of having this guy dump this massive pile of gravel right where I need to drive the skid steer up, and the skid steer, doesn't have the strength or the grip on the road to pick up this gravel. So that means I'm gonna have to shovel this whole pile out to get the skid steer up here. Back to the shovel, I guess. I'm running out of light here pretty quick, and this driveway has now gotten to the hardest part, the most dangerous part, where tipping is a real possibility. I'm in the process of crossing a water line, and we're going down at a pretty good slant here. The big question of this whole thing that I have is will this rock, sand, and gravel withstand the rainy season? That's what I'm calling it for tonight. We got lightning storms all around us. Right now it's kind of like the sky's all flashing. I'm calling it here. Time to go kick it with my family. And this is my favorite part of the day. Dinosaurs. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Oh, sit. It's eight o'clock and we're, um, we're having a coffee. You guys, it's a good thing that we have a coffee business or I think we'd be broke. We're both coffee fiends. And especially it's just like running the farm, running the coffee business. Now we're like kind of like gym rats with our gym. It's eight o'clock right now and we're gonna go get a workout in. So that's just kind of how our life's going right now. Just take little sips of coffee throughout the day. It's just the best. I think this gym might be the best thing that we've ever built. Actually, outside of the bathroom, the shower and the sauna hands down. But then this goes like hand in hand with the bathroom because I didn't want to work out because we haven't had a shower for years. Well, that's not true. We didn't have a actual like hot shower. I mean, we'd have to shower out in the wind. We showered with a garden hose. Yeah. And I didn't want to get all sweaty. It was like trying to reduce showers at all times. <laughs> now I'm trying to maximize showers at all times. As you saw earlier, Jordan and I were basically pounding coffee at eight o'clock at night. And if it wasn't for this stuff, I would be up until two in the morning. I have never wanted to share something as badly as I have 
with Beam's Dream Sleep Powder. This stuff has been an absolute staple in my sleep health for the last couple of years now at this point. Cheers, my love. To sleeping like a baby. To sleeping like a baby. We both have family and friends that take sleeping medication and that's the only way that they can fall asleep at night, every single night. And once we started drinking Beam, we told him like, you guys just gotta try this. And honestly, it's helped so many people that we know. And it's helped me so many times. Ever since becoming a dad, I feel like I'll lay in bed sometimes and my thoughts will start spinning. And I'll come downstairs, make a Beam, 20 or 30 minutes later, I am passed out. It's got CBD, magnesium, L-theanine, reishi, and melatonin. And man, oh man, when you combine all five of those things together, whew, that shiz knocks us out. <laughs> Beam works, and it's great. And it's just a great tool that when I'm struggling falling asleep, I can just lean on it. So if you guys wanna check out Beam, click the link in the top of the description, use our promo code NOMADIC, and you'll get early access to Beam's Labor Day weekend sale, where you can save up to 40% off. So check out the link in the description. I feel like today we're coming to slay the beast. Today's the day, baby. We're gonna take on this wind turbine one way or another. That we're thing gonna is make it up. our... What? I wasn't actually gonna say it, but you know what I mean. This, you is, know what this I mean. is a family channel, the kids, honey. I know, I'm just saying, we're gonna make today our... Friend. Friend. I'm mostly just trying to talk some confidence into myself because I'm very, uh, I'm intimidated. And the thing that's most important, as you guys know, is us being safe. And at the same time though, like I want this thing to work. And we're trying to install a wind turbine onto a pretty big slope here of a hill. First thing that we're gonna do is take a hit of efficiency, but go for safety and cut five feet off of this. Feels like by making this shorter, it's gonna make it much more manageable. Now, why we want this thing to be so tall is we want to prevent what's called dirty wind. And it's not that we're not gonna get strong enough wind hitting it, but it's the things that are around it, like the hillside, like the greenhouse. Ideally, you want this turbine to be 30 feet above all of those things, which is insane. We're not gonna get it 30 feet above. We're gonna lose some power generation, but I feel like this is the best that we can do. Okay, so here's the idea. And I say idea because we're not even 100% sure if it's gonna work yet. But basically, now that we cut five feet off of this pole, it's much, much lighter. We've already tried picking up the pole without the wind turbine on top, and it's pretty easy. So now, we're installing the wind turbine on the top. We're vertical. going to lift it up so that it's vertical. We're then gonna place it on the fork here of the bobcat. The bobcat's gonna lift it up all the way to the edge here. We're just gonna scoot it right on top. Just for you, baby. It's for you, baby. So that's the idea. If it starts falling, run. <laughs> okay, stop. Lift the front down a little. Oh, I am losing my mind right now. <laughs> a little more. Stop. Bring the front down a little. Dad, if you're watching this, I am so sorry. <laughs> but that's why I'm filming this right now. <laughs> I'm not partaking in this whatsoever. Whoa, 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 whoa. So now Jord is taking the tie down straps off of the base and Eberto and Jord, they're basically gonna try to shimmy it onto this white base here. I hate this, I hate every single bit of this. You guys need to tilt it a little bit so I can slide these cables underneath. Okay, I'm gonna let it go a little bit. Got it now. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, this is a problem now. Let's see the move We're almost there. Woo! Yeah! It is on, it is on. It's on the base, Jor got the first bolt in. Now he's just gonna try to get a couple more before we tighten it all down and then let these guys have a break here. How you doing, Bobby? I'm exhausted. <laughs> We're almost there. We're almost there. there. I can't believe we did it. That was definitely the sketchiest thing we've ever done since putting up Rodrigo's A's for his A-frame. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
What do you think, honey? Yeah, we freaking did that, dude. <laughs> Look at that. You happy, boy? How the heck did we do that? <laughs> I mean, it was your idea, honey. I gotta be honest, I thought it was a really dumb idea. I cannot believe we did it, you guys. Look at that freaking turbine. The wind died down once we got it up, so we'll, we're gonna have to wait until it gets windy to really test this thing out, but I mean, at the very worst case, it's pretty sick decoration on our farm. <laughs> no, we're getting this thing working. We've put too much effort and too much time into getting this thing working, and I'm so stoked that we did, because I've been waiting to put that new turbine up, and this road was just the motivation that we needed to get this thing done. And now we have two off-grid energy sources, wind and solar. All we need is water and then we complete the trifecta, but that'll be for another day. The last step that we're gonna have is gonna be anchoring this uh, cable going right down into the ground. The guys dug the footers for it down here, but we didn't have any cement. But while the weather's nice, I'm gonna take full advantage of this. I'm gonna hop back in the skid steer and keep going on the road. We probably have a hundred feet left and we're done. And once we have this road, we're finally gonna be ready to start our house build. So every single one of these steps is just so dang exciting. Come join me, if you will join me. Is this Sadie's store? Yeah. I was wondering, do you sell Play-Doh? Yeah. Do you sell pink Play-Doh? Yep. Yeah. How about yellow Play-Doh? Uh, no. Oh, all right, I'll get the pink Play-Doh. And how much is the pink Play-Doh? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars? Yeah. Do you have any discounts going on right now? One, two, three, four. So you have four percent off no, today. No, one, one, two, three, four. Four percent off? No, one, two, three, four. Okay. Boo. Here you go. Bye. Something is burning. Your pay though, more plate is burning. actually going to take a quick little early evening creek trip. These days just seem to be going by so quick. Maybe it's just a skid steer. I'm loving everything that's going on with that or, or maybe it's just being with Sadie every day and just, I don't know, these days just go by so quick. I feel like I'm on just on this like hyper loop that I'm putting her to bed every night. It's like freaking me out a little bit, but it's crazy how fast time goes. When you have a child, that's like a way to visualize time. It's like, holy cow. We're ending this one here. Thank you guys so much for following along. We love you, and we'll see you on the next one.